Hello again, it's Triad and Medina. I'm back at you with some more Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls content. In today's guide, I'll be covering Can Ice Cube, the new artisan artifact that'll allow you to completely change your character by adding three new passives along with a bunch of other things. I'll show you where to get it and exactly what it does. If you do like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, if you have a look along the bottom, there's an interactive menu. Just click on the point of the video you want to watch if you get bored of something or you just know about it already. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with exactly where to find the cube. Um, in patch 2.3, they've added a new zone into Act 3 called the Runes of Seshron. Uh, that is where the cube will be found, so let's just go over how to do that now. Okay guys, first thing we're going to do is head over to Zoltan Kuhl, activate the quest, and that should start the chain of events that gets us a cube. I'm not sure if that's mandatory, but I did it. Um, hit the waypoints and head over to the Runes of Seshron. Absolutely beautiful zone. Um, very large though, it does take you quite a bit to get through. Um, lots of events to distract you along the way, things like that, but those are not mandatory, so you don't have to do those. Um, we are going through in search for the Elder Sanctum, which is level 2 of the zone, essentially. Um, and that's where we will find the cube itself. So, head over to the Elder Sanctum. And again, quite big, a few events, not mandatory. Um, but we are looking for the throne room. It's very obvious when you find it. It's a giant room with a cube in it. It couldn't be... You know, more more obvious. A uh, little event happens. I expected a boss. Uh, didn't seem to happen, though. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get the cube. It only takes, like, ten minutes out of your time. And it adds it permanently to your artisan going across all of your characters on your account. So let's get into what the cube actually does now. All right, guys. So the first step of Kenai's cube will be the Archive of Tel Rasha. Now, what this does is it extracts legendary power. And by that, it means it will extract one orange... Legendary power off of each item you find. Any item you find in the game it has an, an orange effect on it. So, for example, Royal, Royal Ring of Grandeur. If I extract the power with the cube, I will get reduces the number of set items needed um, by one to a minimum of two. Um, so, I can ha permanently have this effect while not wearing the ring. So, a Royal Ring of Grandeur generally doesn't have the best stats because it rolls with attack speed. And we kind of want critical hit chance and critical hit damage on our item normally. So, what I would do is I'd permanently destroy this, I'd get the effect of the ring, and then I would equip my unity, because I want unity, and it has amazing stats. Um, so I'm getting the effect of unity with royal ring without actually having royal ring equipped. And this goes through for weapons as well, but we'll be using the furnace, and we'll be also using fury of the ancients, because it gives us a call of the ancients uh, with the ancients fury rune. So these are the ones I've selected, there's probably better choices, but hey, I think these are the best right now for me, and that's what I want to do. Now, a few things to keep in mind to craft each item. You're going to need the legendary power, or you're going to need uh, the legendary item itself, one of each um, farming equip or farming material, which is found in the act cache at the end of each bounty, and five death's breath. So the materials aren't that demanding. Now, a few things to keep in mind about the cube. Okay, so first of all, we can see all of the effects our class has the ability to consume and a nice little list they've given to us, which I'm very happy they have, because it just kind of adds like a bit of a collection element to the game, um, which I like. I like collecting things. So another thing to keep in mind, let's find our furnace on here. We haven't deed it yet, but we will in a second. Uh, it is in alphabetical order, which is nice. Um, so is it? Oh, it's the furnace, isn't it? Yeah. So now keep in mind, it says increase damage against elites by 50% on the item. The text goes from 40 to 50. So if I DE my 46% item, it will automatically convert, uh, convert to a 50% um, effect. So this is good to keep in mind because if you roll a really crappy one, you can still consume that effect and have it, you know, very, very good. The reason, it, it might, might sound cheesy, but they've done this because it, it, the elements of farming involved to get the top percentages is kind of insane. Um, I think they want to not add another layer of farming on like they did with um, ancient items. So I kind of agree with this change. And then the other thing to note is you cannot use other class effects on your character. So I can't uh, get rid of, you know, like if I destroyed the wands that reduces slow time by 30% to cool down on it. I couldn't for some reason use that on my barbarian. Why would I want to? I don't know. But, you know, there, there's other effects on other classes that might be usable on other ones. But you can't because it would be... It'd be overpowered in certain, you know, people would make it overpowered with certain effects. Let's put it that way. 
All right, so let's go ahead with actually making our legendary powers permanent. So we're going to do our furnace. Uh, again, it's 46%, should go up to 50. You can just right-click the items out of your inventory, and it'll work. So there we have it. We have each one of those. We have some death's breath. I, I don't think um, putting in too many mats will make a difference. And then we'll transmute. Extracting legendary power will consume legendary item. Extract the power anyway. Yeah. And yeah, I didn't use more than one. Um, it left all those in the slot for us, and there's our furnace effect. Permanently equipped. Uh, we'll do the same. So, I want to do my Royal Ring of Grandeur, because the, the stats in the item are subpar. So, we're going to put that in. Uh, it should unequip the gem for us, and put it there. Yep, and there's our Royal Ring of Grandeur. And finally, our Fury of the Ancients, again, and equip. And there we have it. Those are all of our effects permanently on. So let's have a look. Yeah, my my set bonuses are still working. As you can see, I don't have the ring on. Um, my Fury of the Ancients will be activated for Ancient's Fury, so I can toss on my 50% reduced damage. And finally, the Furnace is on, 50% elite damage. So where will we see that? It should be damage to elites, 50%, permanently on. There you have it, guys. So enjoy that and uh if you guys find any awesome combinations put in the comment section below and uh yeah i'll feature them in the video where i go over combinations which in this video we won't because we don't have enough time also guys the final thing to note is this cube works across your account so what this means is the furnace i just got on my barbarian i can use on my wizard along with not the armor because the shoulders aren't a wizard item obviously like i said and the ring can go on. Um, so yeah, you can, you can permanently use these. It's, it's just like any other artisan. It goes across your whole account. The level goes to your whole account. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. And it's, uh, yeah, I mean, if it was any other way, it would kind of suck, really. So, All right, guys. So moving on to page number two, the Law of Kewl. Um This will reforge a legendary. Very simple. It turns your legendary into the same legendary, but with different stats. So 434 strength would be 500 strength. Or, you know, it just randomizes the item again. Um, the cost, the crafting materials are quite expensive, but I think because of what you can do with it, um, it, it's kind of justified. Now I can't actually demonstrate it because I did demonstrate it before, and when I pressed the button, my game crashed, uh, and I don't want to risk it doing risk doing that again because uh, PTR queues right now are like four hours, and I'm surprised I got into another game at all. Uh, so yeah, so but it's very simple in essence. You put the item in, put your crafting materials in. Click transmute and it'll recraft the item. Uh, amazing! You can do absolutely, you know, great things with this. If you need that one item with perfect stats, you can just keep re-rolling it for a cost, of course. But yeah, it's in there for us and it's great. Okay, so moving on to step number three, Hope of Cain. Now, what this does is it upgrades a rare item into a legendary. Very simple. Uh, costs uh, not a, a huge amount of materials. Um, requires quite a bit of death's breath, but. Considering the end result of turning a yellow into a legendary of your choice, um, not the legendary of your choice, but you know, you're, you're classifying you want like a mighty weapon kind of thing. Uh, the end result for that is pretty good for 25 deaths breath. So I want a mighty weapon. Let's say I want a mighty weapon. So I put that in, slap my materials in there. Um, I think put too many materials in there. And it'll automatically duct how many you need and transmute. There we have it. Gavel of Judgment. So we'll do it one more time to see what we get. And transmute. And another gavel of judgment. But yeah, that's just the example. You know, if you want a specific item. Um, so like if you want a wand on your wizard, this is great for it. Because you can find a bunch of yellow wands and hopefully get that, you know, reduced cooldown on your um, t slow time or something like that. So yeah, absolutely great feature. Um, and yeah, it can be used very creatively to get what you want. So if I wanted a mighty belt use mighty belt things like that so yeah guys good luck with that one it's pretty fun okay so moving on to page number four skill of nilfer um very simple again converts a set item cost 10 death's breath 10 forgotten soul uh that's actually very low in my opinion i think i feel like the death's breath should be higher for what you're getting now this can be used very very well um a few prime examples of using this very well so what it does is it converts like gloves into legs you don't get to pick it just does it by random but if you're going for a set with two items, your chance of getting the, the other one, yeah, you're going to get it. Um, so, like, let's say I want a Warrior's Blood, which I obviously have. But, yeah, so we'll put in Solemn's Vow and then throw our materials in. And that should give us a Warrior Blood. 
So if you have two set items like restraint and focus and you find two restraints and you want to focus, then you can throw in your restraint and get a focus. Let's have a look. Yep, and you get your focus. So with two set items, that's very, very good. Now let's use it on something like Immortal Kings. Now I want another Boulder Breaker. So I'm not going to convert the Boulder Breaker into it because I want to see if the gloves possibly might do it. Um, so again, put in our materials and we got the helm, but that's okay. So yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic tool um, for, you know, if you find too many of a set item, like you could start a seasonal character, find four warrior bloods, uh, you know, useless kind of thing. But now we can convert it over to a way better warrior blood. Um, so absolutely fantastic. Lower chance on these other set items, but hey, start a season. This is key for gearing. So absolutely great idea, Blizzard. Thank you very much. Moving on to page five. Uh, very simple. Once again, work Cathan uh, removes level requirement. Um, so probably not useful for everyone, but people like me, I like leveling alts, things like that. And I like seeing how fast I can do it. So this is kind of perfect for, for people like me. Um, so all it takes is one gem of ease, level 25 plus, and one equipable item. So the equipable item, of course, I would choose Leorc's Crown, who wouldn't, you know, uh, the effective gem socket in this item by 93. You can put in a diamond, get crazy, or sorry, a ruby, and get crazy experience. So you put him in, transmute, and there you have it. No level requirement. Requires a level one. It does consume the gem of ease. So anytime you would ever save by having these items for, no, for a low level character, you will immediately lose out on from rank, uh, grinding up the gem to 25. But still, if you ever wanted to make a full set of leveling gear, you could have a lot of fun with it. So interesting. Not usable for everyone, though. All right, guys. So moving on to page number six. Very simple. Converts any gem times nine into any gem times nine. So if you're hoarding... Uh, too many emeralds and you need more rubies, then you can convert them over. Um, pretty much you put your gems in. You're meant to be able to select which type you want to convert it to and then hit transmute. It's not working at the moment. It doesn't look like it. Um, but yeah, it's very simple in essence. Uh, and it should work on every gem level as well. But yeah, I, I don't see it being overly useful because most of the time you don't need gems. It seems like you always have an abundance. Unless you're trying to re-roll a ring and you need a thousand topazes or something. But yeah. It's simple um, and eh, it's slightly useful. And finally, moving to page seven. Uh, very simple type mechanic again. It's called Anger of Iben Fod. It converts crafting materials. Uh, very, very simple. You can convert 100 crafting materials at a time. Uh, you need 100 materials, uh, one normal magic or rare item, one death's breath. So the idea is you put in the crafting material you want to convert, which is so veiled crystals, and then the, the quality of item or quality of materials we want. So blue. And then one Death's Breath. So that will convert 100 Veil Crystals into a blue quality and give us 100 Arcane Dust. Um, it, we had 100 Arcane Dust before, so it gave us extra. So I'll show you that again. So we can convert um, white materials into blue. So we'll put blue in there with Death's Breath. And there you go. Gives us another 100. It looks like it's giving you more, but it's actually just adding on to the stack. Um, it, it does it incorrectly, so we had 800 before, now we have 900. Um, it looks like you're getting 300 out, you're not, you're only getting 100 at a time. Um, I don't know why they've done it like that, but they have. But there you have it guys, super easy, very, very useful for when we hoard too many yellows or hoard too many... We never hoard too many blues, who does that? That never happens, but it's pretty much for hoarding too many yellows and converting them into blues and uh, common materials. So, good luck with that one. Okay, guys, that wraps it up on all the information on Ken Ice Cube. Um, like I said, we're going to save the actual legendary um, combinations to a later guide because that's a guide in its own. I mean, if we did that now, we could be here for ages. Plus, not only is it a guide of its own, but it's very class-specific as well and gear uh, class-specific and, um, like, item and build-specific. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have enough time for that right now. This guide would be, like, an hour and a half if, uh, if I tried to put it in. But anyways, guys, that's like the basics about the cube, just going over what it does, where you get it. Um, but yeah, if, if you have any more questions, like specific questions, uh, ask them in the bottom. I'll, I'll try my best to answer you with the, the knowledge I have at the moment. Um, but there's a lot in patch 2.3 at the moment, uh, which means there's going to be a lot more guides coming out. Um, like a lot more. I mean, we have the content in the game just like like 
added like 25% on or something in terms of being complex. So it's uh, it's pretty good stuff for everyone. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the new item and uh, or the new artisan and how you're going to use it. Like if you have any interesting combinations of effects, let me know. Um, just for example, I mean, my three combinations brought me up on my undergeared barb from doing like 44 solo greater rift to now I can do like 54, 55 like 10 greater level increases plus there was a bit of a nerf on damage and things and jailers and stuff like that but yeah it's it's pretty huge um well really huge but yeah guys uh that's it for today uh thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and we will see you all soon Bye bye